Hello friends, welcome to the take five video. These are the prompts in front of you. I will talk about them as we go. I am going to start by painting a face with this Jane Davenport flesh tone acrylic paint. So I'm painting a face because one of the prompts was to include an influential figure in history. So for this take five journal spread, the influential figure I am choosing is the wonderful American poet, Mary Oliver, one of my absolute favorites. So I am going to do a little sketch of, oh, sorry, I'm gonna make an illustration of Mary. I'm do my best here. So I'm starting with acrylic paint and I'm just marking in the features with some color pencil. Now I should tell you that the prompts for this month were chosen by Amira. She's relatively new to our awesome Take 5 group, but she is fabulous. And I have to say the prompts that she has chosen for this month are just kick ass, Amira. They are so awesome. I'm really excited about doing this video. So if you want to see Amira, she will, I will have a link to her channel in the info box below, as I will have a link to all the Take 5 girls in the info, bo info box below. Now, you also know that if you would like to participate in the Take 5 Art Challenge, and we would love it if you want to participate, then go ahead and please use the prompts, tag us, make a video, make a photo on Instagram, use the hashtag Take 5 Art, let us know so we can all have a look and just join in the fun. It's really, really, really great for getting your creative juices flowing. You kind of go, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. And then out of nowhere comes awesomeness as often does in the process of art journaling, which is why we do it. Now you must be wondering who the heck I'm drawing. Well, one of the prompts was to include an influential figure in history. So the figure that I have chosen to include is the great and wonderful American poet, Mary Oliver, one of my absolute favorite poets of all time. So this is my illustration of Mary. And, um, and then I will also include a, a quote from one of her poems. So right now I'm going to do a little bit of background. Let me tell you what I'm doing here because this is important. I have used the, an acrylic paint and um, what I'm mixing in now is airbrush medium. It's a Liquitex airbrush medium and this, if you add it to the acrylic, just really makes, it, it waters down the acrylic and it just makes it really easy to spread, which therefore means it's so much easier for doing backgrounds. It just spreads it out. You know, when you're using your acrylic, sometimes you start spreading it out across the background and it just gets really sticky and you don't get a smooth surface. So to combat that, use airbrush medium. It's really, 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 really handy with acrylic. Hot tip, that's my hot tip for this month. Get into the airbrush medium. See how smooth it is for me to make that acrylic background now, rather than it getting all clumpy and heavy in some spots and difficult in others. Okay, next prompt was to use book pages. So I'm pulling out a page from a lovely book of shells that my dad sent me to use specifically for art journaling. And I um using that to create her shirt i've just used a bit of tracing paper there so i could get the dimensions of the shirt right and then press the lead down with the back how do i explain that went over the pencil line flipped it over and then drew over it again so that the lead left a mark and does that even make sense oh well never mind i just made a shirt out of paper you get the idea Right, so I'm putting matte medium to stick that down, a bit of matte medium on top to keep it flat, and it's time to color in the face, for which I'm using Prisma colored pencils. Now this is a bit of a process, so I want to show you that process because I'm sure there'll be some of you who kind of want to see that happen, but it's kind of long-winded. So you know what? I am going to read you Mary's poem the very poem from which I'm taking a quote, because one of the prompts is to use a quote. So clearly I'm gonna use a quote from Mary. I'm gonna use a quote from the poem, Wild Geese. I'm going to read you the whole poem now because why not? All right, here we go. Wild Geese by Mary Oliver. You do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert repenting 
You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about despair, yours, and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of rain are moving across the landscapes, over the prairies and deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese, high in the clean blue air, are heading home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting, over and over, announcing your place in the family of things. There you are, lovelies. That was Wild Geese by Mary Oliver. Beautiful poem. Um, I, so I'm going to use a quote from that. I could have used a million quotes from her poetry. There is so much that she writes that just cracks my soul and heart wide open. But Amira specifically said to choose a quote that really represented who we are and how we feel at this moment in time. And so the quote that I have chosen as you will see when I write it, it still speaks to me of, of being deeply, deeply honest with who you are and what you love and paying attention to the whispers in your heart. And that's where I feel that I am right now. That's what is important to me. That's the conversation in my mind and in my heart right now. So that's the quote that I'll use. As you can see, I've been doing the hair. I did a bit of a blondie color underneath before I did the white because I felt like the white wouldn't show up enough. And I just wanted the color to have a little bit more depth, not just be such a flat white color. So that's why I did that little process there. And I'm gonna fix up the eyes because she's looking a bit, her eyes are looking a bit here and there. So I'm gonna add some color in there and then just fill in the whites around the eyes again to make them look the right direction. <laughs> I do have a problem with wonky eyes. Okay, next prompt on the list, black floral. This is my black floral. I'm doing a bit of a background. I'm putting in the flowers with black color pencil. That's that prompt. Woohoo, done. Okay, next prompt was postal stamps. So postal stamps are awesome, but I don't actually have any here to use. So my whole thing was I'm turning this illustration into a stamp, which is why I did those things around the edges, except it kind of looks more like a kind of curly picture frame, but it's not meant to be. It's meant to be a stamp. So then I just stuck down this extra book page because I like it and I wanted it in there. And now to write the quote itself, which I have chosen from the poem, which is, you only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves and that is it for this take five thank you so much for watching my lovelies if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and have a super super day bye